document rated 50 years on the throne and her 10th as Empress of India. Victoria had always been fascinated by this exotic jewel in her crown. Now aged 68, undertaking a voyage to the subcontinent was out of the question. But if the Empress couldn't come to India, India could always come to her. It was to do so in a form that would lead to Victoria's most controversial relationship of all. In the summer of 1887, to mark her status as Empress, Victoria had been sent a unique present, an Indian table servant by the name of Abdul Karim. To begin with, Abdul was decoration. He was an exotic pet. He gave color to the court. He was a handsome man. He was lithe and tall and fair-skinned. And she would have been utterly enchanted by his presence. Within a few weeks of his arrival, Victoria decided to take Abdul out of her kitchens and into her confidence, promoting him to the position of Munshi, or teacher. Aslam. Aslam. Alaykum. Wa alaykum salam. Wa alaykum salam. I am learning Hindustan to speak to my servants. It is a great interest to me. I have never come into contact with the language or the people before. Abdul is a very strict master, though a perfect gentleman. Ye kutta? Ye kutta? Hamara. Hamara? Bhot. Bhot. hai. I think Queen Victoria actually loved Abdul as a son. You know, she had this peculiar maternal relationship with him. Abdul also obviously flattered her. Um, he would have read her Urdu poetry. To the shock of her court, the Queen even declared Kareem was to become her Indian secretary, advising her on imperial policy, with access to confidential state papers. This man is actually reading the letters from the Viceroy of India to the... The anger amongst her courtiers was redoubled when it emerged that Kareem had lied to the Queen about his background. His father was not a doctor, as he had claimed, merely an assistant in a prison hospital. A letter from the Queen's physician spelt out exactly what the court thought of him. By your presumption, you have created a position which can no longer be allowed to exist. On the subject of your origin, we have a certificate from India about your father. You are from a very low class. To be called secretary is perfectly ridiculous. None of the Queen's gentlemen can recognize you in any way, whatever. Victoria was blind with fury at her court. To make out that